New Shooter coverage of Cine Gear 2025 is sponsored by B&H Build Expo, June 17th and 18th at the Javits Center, New York, and Atlas Lensco. Hi, it's Matt here for NewShooter.com at Cine Gear 2025. I'm at the Kipon booth, and you've got a range of new products here that you're showing at the show. Uh, what are they? Yeah, so uh, thank you very much to come to our booth to make an interview. So I just make introduce about our new uh, new adapters, new lenses uh, this year. So uh, now the adapter in my hand, uh, this is uh, the, I think this is uh, our word first, only we have it now. It's for the coming uh, Fuji Eterna, everybody know now, it's medium format cine camera, Blackmagic 17K, uh, also RE 265, Alexa 65. So it can solve the issue for lens shortage issue. So this is like a 1.3 times expander. Yes. So it can expand from full frame to medium format. So you know that every rental company have a huge stock for full frame lens, size uh, Supreme, um, also, also the, the Sigma, Cook, Engine, many, many. So they can use this expander to, to, you, to let this lens become a medium format lens. This is a PL to PL expander. Yes, this is a PL to LPL. LPL. Yes, because uh, medium format have big image sensor. They need a bigger throat, so PL to LPL is better. Yeah. Yes. And what else do you have? So this is a very high speed uh, lens, one point T one point four, for for the new uh, medium format camera. Why we keep on this year? We officially we we enter into the lens lens uh, business, uh, rehousing, or, or design new. Because we think now everybody's at the same starting point. So we also have our advantage. We have so many uh, uh, specific uh, bath eyes, expanders. So this is our unique advantage to do this. Um, business. So this is a 65 mil and this is just your first lens. You're going to have a lot more focal lengths going forward? Yes. Now we are working at more focal lengths now. So this year our plan is have line up lens, you know. Yeah. So these, is this taking existing optics and then literally adding an expander to them? Yes. So, for example, the, the lens in my hand, it is used um, a legendary Hasselblad 110 um, F2. So very uh, legendary lens. We call it Night Eyes for this lens. We use to combine with, um, with a um, new design 0.62 speed booster, make it very uh, cin cinematic feeling. Yeah. And what do we have here? I think this is a word first also. The speed booster with uh, helicopter. You can shorten the, the minimum focal distance very close. Depends on the lens, you know. Like like a, like 45, you can go like so close. So it's very very, uh, very unique. Uh, and what what mount is this? This is a Pentax 67. Um, because you know medium cam medium format camera come come out. So developing cost maybe too higher for, for the current industry. So I think many cinema photographers like, like medium format lens. And this, because I, for my personal experience, the medium format lens always good. So they will have a trend to, to do this kind of rehousing. So for this helicopter, for this speed booster, we prepared for that. Yeah. Okay, and finally, you've got one more thing here. Yes. So. This is a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit strange for the cinema industry. So I'm also curious. I ask uh, the DP, uh, they come here, ask their opinion. Uh, if for cine, for filming, they need a tear shift. So they, they told us, you know, uh, is, um, yes, they, they, they have such demand. So this product is very precise design by German engineer. So tear shift, many, of course, many for steel architecture, interior shooting. But this time I got the feedback from the cinema industry. The DP, they told us that for, for Venice, for, for Venice, for Red Raptor, they, they all, they, they're always thinking how, how to create spatial. The tear shift, they also need for some special uh, scene, you know, special uh, movie, a video, yeah. Okay, now for all these things here, are, are, these, uh, are these shipping yet? And uh, what sort of price are we looking at? So actually for, uh, yes, so for, for four product only tier shift is uh, now is um, not delivered yet. But for another three one uh, expander for medium format, helicopter adapter and and also um, a lens, we already uh, get orders and start start shipping. Now uh, I'll say one by one. Okay. And do you have the pricing for these? 
Yes, for expander, it's uh, uh, $3,800. For the lens, you know, it depends. The clients give us the lens or we buy the, buy the glass for them. Yeah, so it's... Uh, well, for helicopter, the adapter is about $1,500. Yeah, so this is uh, price information.